Hi everyone, this is Leslie coming to you live um, on Wednesday, January 23rd for an all new episode of Love Where You Live, Give Where You Love. Um, I am coming from Mission Viejo, a beautiful sunny day today. Last week it was raining like crazy all week, um, but this week we have sunny skies, so yay, and I can do the Facebook Live from outside, which is always one of my favorite places to do it. Um, as we wait for others to join us, um, just wanted to share with you again, I'm Leslie Swan, I'm the founder and principal of the Swan Team, and wanted to uh, share with you some exciting news. Last night, I uh, got to present the a donation check to Castile Elementary as part of our education donation program and as part of living our motto of love where you live, give where you love. Um, so we donated a thousand, we donated a thousand dollars to Castile um, on behalf of the Brown family um, for uh, purchasing a new property. So um, again, please Tell anyone you know that is thinking of buying or selling to contact us because we'd absolutely love to give back to your local uh, school of choice for any property that we help you buy or sell. And of course, thank you so much for your continued referrals and friends and family that you send to us. We greatly appreciate it. Also um, want to let you know that um, I can't always see on Facebook if you are watching, so if you wouldn't mind either leaving a comment or giving a thumbs up or a heart or a wow um, to let me know you're there, that would be super helpful uh, because today I will be going into the Orange County housing market and giving you an update on how things are going. Um, so if you have any questions about that or have um, any comments, feel free to share them in the comment section. Of course, feel free to share this post with anyone that you think may find this information of value or that they may be considering buying or selling because, um, again, it's always good to be informed and know exactly what is going on in the market um, in your area or to at least know of someone that you can contact to find more about either your specific area or the area in general and how the market is doing. Um, as a quick reminder, I'm Leslie Swan with the Swan Team and also um, wanna make sure that you know that on our Facebook page, there are different ways that you can connect with us and um, get some information. For example, if you go to our Facebook page and look left, you will see an option to get our monthly newsletter, which comes monthly. And it is just a compilation of all of our blog posts, our Facebook Lives, any active listings or any other general information um, that is going on with the SWAN team. So you can subscribe to that. You can also subscribe to the uh, monthly Orange County Housing Report. Um, as I mentioned, I'm going to be going over that today. And I'm going to be going over it at kind of a summary level, but um, if you want more detailed information specifically about certain cities or more specific data, then you are more than welcome to check that out at any point. So, or I'm sorry, um, subscribe to that and we can send that to you. And then uh, you can also subscribe to our weekly blog post. Um, you would get those um, usually what I'm speaking about on the Facebook Live video is the blog post. So you can get information, um, you can get that information prior to the Facebook Live. So you can be in the know before everyone else is. And then lastly, we have our buyer guidebook and our seller guidebook. If you are thinking of buying or selling, um, or if you know someone that is interested, you can subscribe to, it's just a, um, a guidebook that you can uh, have a copy of so that you can prepare yourself and get all of your ducks in a row for whether or not you are thinking of buying or selling. And as I mentioned, they are separate, uh, one buyer guidebook one seller guidebook because obviously they are two different transactions. So we wanna make sure that you are well prepared on both sides. And of course, if you have any questions about buying or selling or the real estate market in general, you can always contact us at 949-444-1601 
or you can email us at info at the swan team oc.com or certainly go to our website at www.theswanteamoc.com for more information. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and then lastly, before we get into our topic of the Orange County housing market today, um, wanted to share with you on our Facebook page that we have a lot of events that are coming up. We have scheduled out for the entire year, the first Friday of every month, a free workout with Christy and I um, starting at 9 a.m. on uh, February 1st. That Friday will be our first uh, free Friday workout and so come and join us that will be at Aurora Park um, and as of right now they will all be at Aurora Park um, but go to our events uh, tab and check out all the different of uh, those specific events and see if you can attend any of them and I know that obviously 9 a.m. for some of you that isn't a time you can make um, but if you'd be interested in joining us for an afternoon or evening workout we are more than happy um, if there's enough people that want to do it we are more than happy to um, create a fun workout for those people as well. So just contact us directly and we'd be more than happy so that you can get fit and we can hopefully find lots of uh, wonderful properties for you and your family and friends and of course sell any properties that you're looking to sell as well. So having said all of that, why don't we get right into the Orange County housing update. Um, right now we are definitely um, in a similar boat to the last time that I talked to you about the housing market in that our inventory is pretty high and it's actually very high. It is um, the highest it's been since uh, 2011. Um, and it is up to 6,911 homes. So just under 7,000 homes are on are considered part of the active inventory um, in all of Orange County. And just to put that in perspective, that last year at this time, we had just 3,707 homes that were active on the market um, at this time. So there are 59% more homes that are active on the market now than there were last year. So that means there is a lot more choice and options for buyers. So um, if we look at it that way, it's a great thing. There are a lot of options for buyers and buyers have uh, a little bit more control now in the transaction as opposed to this time last year. And what is interesting about this year and what we can look back at 2018 and notice is that the price range of 500,000 and below is essentially vanishing um, in Orange County because prices do continue to go up. But um, in addition to active inventory being up, demand is down and at its lowest since 2008. There are 1,165 pending homes right now, um, which is how we consider demand, uh, in comparison to 1,447 homes that were in the pending status this time last year. And that is 24% more homes that were in escrow last year than now. Um, again, showing that there just isn't as much demand right now. And I guess if I have to impart my own personal opinion on it, um, I find it kind of fascinating and interesting because I feel like the news is, you know, talking about, oh, interest rates going up or, you know, I don't want to say having a scare mentality, but it's kind of what the news does. Um, but it's a great time actually to buy a property. It's probably the best time in eight years uh, because interest rates are actually as low as they were in April of last year. Yes, that's right. Everyone keeps talking about how rates keep going up, but actually they're still very low and just roughly at 4.5% or just below that. Um, so money is still incredibly inexpensive 
to borrow. And right now, because of active, active inventory being so high, if you are someone who's possibly considering buying something, there's a high likelihood that, I don't want to say you're going to get a smoking deal, but you definitely have more negotiating power. And so you can potentially get a better price or a... Uh, fair market value price and still at an incredibly low rate. So it just is kind of a perfect storm when it comes to um, purchasing a home and making an investment that ideally you want to hold on to for a while um, or that you want to um, see mature and you want to make some money off of. So again, um, while you know these numbers seem a little bleak. <laughs> um, if you are a buyer, it's a great thing. So buyers out there, get off the fence and head out there and start looking at some properties because they are out there and um, ready and prime for the picking. And again, you can get money at a really cheap rate. So why not? Right now, the estimated market time in Orange County is 152 days which is the highest level it has been since January of 2011. 152 days definitely puts us into a um, buyer's market status, which this time last year, we were in a seller's market. In fact, um, and to be more specific, it, uh, we were at 77 days, uh, which was our expected market time at this time last year. Hi, Mike. Hi, Alexis. Thanks for watching. Um, so 77 days versus 152. We've essentially doubled the amount of time on the market. So if you are a seller, the key thing to remember is that it may take a little bit longer for your house to sell, but also something to always keep in mind is that if you price your house correctly, if you get it ready to sell and it is shown well and marketed well, then your house will still sell in a quick amount of time. It isn't, you know, this isn't a hard and fast rule. Obviously, this is an average. But again, it means that you can't overprice your house and expect for it to sell quickly like it might have this time last year. Unfortunately, that's just not going to happen. Um, again, buyers have the leverage now. And so you have to anticipate that and have to expect that when going into uh, the transaction. And so I highly encourage if anyone is thinking of selling their home and if they're maybe either not in this area and um, so I'm too far out of their range or they are considering talking with someone else, really ask about that and the listing price and you know where they might list it or their thoughts because if they come to you and say oh i think oh yes absolutely let's list this for you know a house that let's say is really actually worth maybe one million dollars but they say no let's list it for 1.2 because really they just want you to sign on the dotted line and they want to get your listing really question that because you really want to make sure that the agent that you're working with is um, very cognizant of what's going on in the market and understand that it's going to take a while um, and understand how important pricing is and understand their strategy. I mean, maybe they have that strategy because ultimately they think they'll get somewhere in between the real market value and their pricing, but understand that that is going to make it take even longer for you to sell your house, um, for that buyer to appear. Um, because right now, again, buyers have the leverage in the negotiation and they're not going to overpay. Now, when it comes to when we break down different types of price ranges, houses below seven fifty um, and in between, or just in general, I'm sorry, houses that are below 750, we actually still have a balanced market because there is, it is only um, 107 days for the, uh, for the days on market. So again, it's balanced. So if you are looking in that range, it may take, um, 
there is still some definite demand. So, you know, buyers, especially for a hot commodity property or something that, um, you know, has been fixed up really nicely, those properties, there still are going to be multiple people interested and you're going to want to put your best foot forward. So it is still balanced. But then as we get into the higher price ranges, like 750000 to a million, you're looking at 144 days, which is definitely a buyer's market. And then in the price category of a million to one point to 5 million, you're looking at 176 days. So, you know, significantly more time than this time last year. Um, and just to keep things in perspective, even about the luxury homes uh, or what are considered luxury homes in Orange County, which are homes that are 1.25 million and above, um, they actually account for 31% of the active inventory right now, so essentially a third, and they only account for 13% of demand, which um, again just means that they are not going into escrow and um, you know it's taking a lot longer for them to sell. So this is all information for you to understand and be more equipped uh, if you are in the situation of thinking of buying or selling, of course, this is the kind of information that if you were to call us directly and to work with us, we would make sure that you were prepped and understood this so that uh, you can be uh, best informed and have clear and um, realistic expectations of the market and uh, understand what's going to happen or what to expect. Um, and if we break down Mission Viejo, because that's where I live and that's where we do a lot of our work, um, just to kind of keep things in perspective, we have gone from four weeks ago, the days on market was 90 days, two weeks ago it was 116 days, and it's now up to 135. So we have even, um, you know, definitely fallen into a buyer's market here in Mission Viejo. So you have to, again, just understand this information and know it um, to make the appropriate decisions that will best benefit you in any sort of uh, real estate transaction that you're thinking about. If you want any further information or more detailed information, again, feel free to contact us at 949 444-1601 or email us at info at the swan team oc.com or definitely feel free to comment here on this post or direct message us anytime uh, because we'd be more than happy to share more details. Uh, again, keep in mind the information that I mentioned about interest rates. Uh, still very low and as low as they were this time April last year. So money is out there and um, still at a very low rate. If you're on the fence, definitely consider uh, contacting a mortgage lender. And if you need to find a trusted mortgage lender, you can always contact us because uh, there are several that we know of that you can trust and that you can call and um, find out exactly what you qualify for and uh, find out if, you can make your real estate goals and dreams a reality. That is all I have today for the Orange County Housing Update and Report. Like I said, contact us if you have any questions, or of course, if you know of anyone that's thinking of buying or selling, please have us have them call us at 949-444-1601. And again, always remember our motto, love where you live, give where you love, uh, and keep in mind that we will donate $1,000 to the school of your choice for any property that we help you buy or sell. Last but not least, go sign up for our uh, free Friday workout, our first one being uh, a couple weeks from now on February 1st but we have them all planned out for the rest of the year. So you can sign up, please join us. We would love to have you working out with us. And of course, tune in next week for an all new episode of Love Where You Live, Give Where You Love um, at 12 o'clock noon, again on Wednesday on the 30th. So 
Have a great day, everyone. Take care. Love where you live. Give where you love. Bye.